what love actually is. So I'm just going to tap in live now. Um, sorry about all this cloak and dagger stuff looking around the corner. Too many devices, too many things going on here. And uh, I think when you've got that, you've got to improvise, haven't you? Improvise. But McClure's always improvised, you know. 50,000 hours of live, unscripted broadcasting and television or radio. That's the way to go. That's what we like. Wonderful. Oh, that's what you all appear to like. Anyway, it's certainly gone down very well over the last 29 years. Can you believe it? We're in our 29th year of Scotty McClue's Nightline. The megaphone in. Right, I'm just going to post now. Let everybody know that we have gone live and they can come and join us here on YouTube. Um, I see the panic buying has started, Scotty. I did say it would in a couple of weeks. I don't know why there's panic buying, Frank. I don't understand it because the shops have made it quite clear there's not going to be any shortage. I just think people are very, very silly. You know, I've had a lot of argy barges today with um, people over the royal family doing them not, um, you know, because somebody said that they may need some money just to help um, the royal family over the difficult period of COVID and things like that. Now, I don't know if it's fake news or if it's genuine, but the reactions from people have been absolutely shocking, the way they seem to perceive the royal family. Oh, they've got money, they're so rich. Well, they don't understand anything about how the state works in this country and that uh, the royal family are virtually self-financing, of course. So there we are, self-financing. And um, Her Majesty the Queen's office and the office of the heir to the throne, Prince of Wales, they're virtually self-financing, and they bring in fortunes in tourism and trade. So we need to think about that. Excellent stuff. Now, I'm just going to see what we've got here. Did your message about the panic buying reach many people? The problem I've got with platforms now, Betty, there's so much media about that it used to go out to thousands upon thousands upon thousands. Now, sometimes it can go out to a couple of dozen, but it's still worth doing it, you know. It's still worth doing it, Betty, because I think the people need to know what is what. The people need to get told. They need to get their education. And if Scotty McClure can help with that, I mean, there's a lot of education out there, but sometimes they have to pay for it. I've always been free. And boy, do some people cheek up. When you try and educate them, they cheek up. You tell them what's what, they go, rubbish. You know, no, no, these are facts that I've spent 50 years deeply, deeply researching in international affairs. Oh, you know, every day is suddenly a specialist in all sorts of things. Immigration, the royal family, smoking, COVID-19, medicine itself, epidemiology. We have all these specialists out there. Have you noticed how amazing is that? Right. I'm just about to share this. Let everybody know that we're live now and they can come and join us. Um, the ones that mock the royal family don't have the IQ to know how much they do for the general public and the economy. Absolutely, Frank, the royal family have made this country. They have made the wealth of this country, and they cost us virtually nothing. Fantastic. So they are. So I agree with you, Frank. You know, I mean, these sort of people in the old days that have all been put in the tower, that have been taken away and put in the tower. But now we let people have an opinion. But that doesn't mean they should be cheeking up about our sovereign lady, Her Majesty the Queen, the Queen of all of us, regardless of your creed, your color, your background, your race, your religion, any of these things, the Queen is the Queen. And we've had a monarchy for 2,000 uh, 437 years or something, or 343 years, is it? I sometimes get mixed up with that, but it's huge. Anyway, it's massive, absolutely massive. And uh, we need to remember that. People need to remember that, uh, especially when they don't know. And they should listen to Scotty McClure if they'd listened to me in 2014. 
Scotland would have been independent by now. How good would that have been, I ask you? Right, we'll see what's happening here.